a big statement by the government in its desire to improve the country's healthcare sector. The procurement of 20 ambulances by the government is a laudable move that seeks to tackle maternal mortality in the Gambia. The ambulances were arranged at the safe hour offices in Kanifin and later drove to the Arch in Banjul to be handed over to President Barrow and Health Minister Dr. Samate on Monday. Now, as you all know, CFA is the sole distributor for Toyota in, uh, in, in, in Gambia. Right? So uh, these vehicles uh, will be maintained by us. Uh, responsibility, our responsibility is for the warranty. Right? And of course, everybody knows Toyota is a rugged vehicle, you know, they're a very reliable vehicle. We are here uh, to maintain them and to uh, make sure they are on the road and uh, taken care of. Minister Samate explained the need for the ambulances. He further took the media through instances where pregnant women die on the road and even get attacked by animals due to lack of proper mobility. Samate said plans are currently on and more ahead. Uh, there are 80 ambulances. Now, the first 20 have arrived. Uh, we're expecting uh, the, uh, another 25 uh, by the end of this month. Uh, by the 9th of next month, we're expecting 10. And the remaining 25 will come at the end of November. Uh, as we speak uh, in this country, we still have people, uh, uh, especially pregnant women, who are carried, uh, when they are in labor, they are carried on horse carts, donkey carts, to the health facilities. We have heard of uh, 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 incidences whereby a pregnant woman uh, traveling to a health facility on a donkey cart, they got attacked by wolves. That's very recently. We have heard of uh, another one where uh, they got attacked by wolves and then uh, the, 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 don the horse cart, uh, the horse had to run at full speed of a pregnant woman on top of the cart. These are very sad instances, but this is what we found in this country. But this is what His Excellency President Adam Barrow wants to change. We are constructing uh, 13 rest areas along the highways. Those rest areas will have toilets and bathrooms and conveniences. You know when we travel up country, we have those challenges. We are constructing them. Uh, in fact, construction work will start this month. We are equally constructing 11 ambulance sites along the highways for rapid response if there is an accident so that these people are taken to uh, health facilities on time by calling uh, a unique number for the first time in the history of this country. And so you are already aware that we are doing massive renovation of health facilities. Uh, you can see Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, the renovation uh, has started. Speaking to reporters, President Barrow said the development is a testament to his government's commitment to better health care for citizens. This was a promise to the community that we will start community ambulancing in this country for the first time in the history of this country because we see the need to support the community and mostly traditionally ambulances are stationed at the health centers they are not within the communities so we said now we should have community ambulances so that the community will be, the ambulances will be within the community so that they can have access and quick reaction also to save the life of the people. And with the bad roads of country, we said we have to look for ambulances that are strong, that can adapt to our bad roads here. That's why we have these land cruisers, desert ambulances. The main purpose is for that. It was a promise that we gave and we kept our promise. So today, this is a history as far as our health sector is concerned. If you are elected as president, it's a social contract. The social contract is, is to impact the life of the people. How do you impact the life of the people? You listen to what the people want. It's the people who take the decision. That's why last year we take all the notes together. We put it together and there was a summary given to me. There was really call for these community ambulances. People, we are talking about ambulances, talking about the problems they encounter to access hospitals, especially very, very sick people. So that's why it's a promise that we have fulfilled today. It's a history as far as the health sector is concerned in this country. And we promise the people that we will continue to do more, depending on what they need. 
Accordingly, the vehicles will be distributed to constituencies across the country in due time. However, the ministry urges all drivers to handle the ambulances with care to enable its sustenance. Fatu Kamara reporting for the Fatu Network News Review.